Today, we're looking at a hot tip from Walmart. This thing's heavy. Ozark Trail 10 by 12 wall tent. My biggest concern about this tent was the material that it was made out of, and it looks like the same exact material that my favorite hot tent from 3FUL Gear is made out of. This tent is huge. I mean, I can stand up and not touch the ceiling. Um, I still got at least three inches from the tips of my fingers to the peak of this tent. It is a big tent. It is 10 feet wide by 12 feet long. It says that it fits six, six people sleeping. I'd say one here, one here, and then four going backwards. But for two to three people, it is the perfect size for chairs to hang out in and cots in the back. That's our plan with it. Three cots in the back, three chairs in the front, living room area, sleeping area in the back. You're gonna need a big stove to heat this tent, unless it's not that cold out. I'm using the Camp Chef cylinder stove right now, and it's doing a great job heating this big space, even with all the windows and doors open. If you're interested in a review of this stove, I'll leave it in the description down below, and whenever I post it, it will be there, and then you can check that out. This tent, guys, it's pretty good. It has a fully removable floor, so you can take the floor right out or put it back in if you want. It's a bathtub floor, so it comes up the walls. During the Spackman water torture test, I had three, at least three inches, eh, I'd say at least two inches of water underneath this floor, and it was, you know, like a water bed. It was, it was dry. It wasn't soaking through the floor. The whole front in front of me is one big door. It comes with screens, so you can use this in the summertime, springtime, fall time, or even winter time, because it's got the stove jack. I ended up picking this up on a 50% off sale for $250. It's normally $499, but for $250 bucks for this size of a tent, you cannot go wrong. It comes with this big carry case with two wheels. I did end up busting one of the wheels when I was trying to make the intro to this video. If, if you don't be stupid like I was, I think you'd be fine. But this bag is very heavy duty. It is really heavy. I'm not sure the weight, but I'll throw it up on the screen on somewhere right here. So I set this tent up all by myself. Setup of this tent was relatively easy. Once you get the hang of it, it took me about a half hour to 40 minutes for my first time setting it up. That, that includes taking everything out of the bag, going through all the materials, reading the directions, and then setting it up all by myself. So not that bad. I don't recommend doing it by yourself. It's, it will probably be much easier with more than one person. I mean, it definitely would be more easier with more than one person. But one person is definitely doable. I was able to do it all by myself. I'm not a big guy. But it was fairly easy for me to get it up. Yesterday, it went through a couple hours of some light rain with about a half hour of heavy rain. And I didn't see any moisture in here from that rain whatsoever. So now, today, I set up the back with water torture test. And let's get into that. Hi, right, guys. Back to our turkey test has been running for an hour. Checked it at the 30 minute mark. We were all good to go. So let's head inside and see how it did. Wait, you guys gotta come with me. Let's head inside. The zippers are very smooth. Let's get some light in here. All right, you can tell that's muddy. That's not from drippage. Same with this. This all came off my feet. Oh, that is not muddy. See that? That's not muddy. Let's find where that's coming from. Stove jack. Right there. Oh, there is, there is a pool of water right there. Hope you guys heard that. That was quite a bit of water. Let's keep checking. These are my muddy footprints from before. Let's check this ridge line. Huh? 
Oh, did you guys see that? Crap, I might not have been. I just found some water right here in this corner. Where'd that come from? Not up here. It must be coming through this seam. It must be coming through this seam right here in the corner. So this seam, this. Let's check this other corner then, shall we? Oh man. <laughs> Look at the puddle. I hope you can see that. Look at the puddle underneath the tent. Holy cow. Okay, this floor is definitely waterproof. Look at this puddle. This is completely underneath the tent. Wow, that is, that's two knuckles deep, almost three knuckles deep. That's insane. That's a lot of water underneath and this floor is holding it out. All right, let's check this corner. Oh, this corner's solid. All right, guys, two leaks right in this corner with the stove jack. Now, I did hear that this stove jack had problems, that water gets in here, pools up here, and starts to leak. The guy did not lie about that. That is true. Well, hold on. Let's, let's stop the water and talk about this tent. Give me my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on a 10 by 12 wall tent from Ozark Trail, a Walmart hot tent, guys. Walmart hot tent. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. It is huge. I did have a problem over here in the stove jack corner. But realistically, guys, I mean, I haven't found many stove jacks that are completely waterproof. And it's over the stove. You're not going to be sleeping there. Even if you have to cover this with a tarp, it's still worth the $250 I paid for. Is it worth $500 if you pay full price? I, I'd say so, too. But around Black Friday and then past Black Friday, there's some really good deals on these tents. So check them out, guys. This is going to be my family's bug out tent, I think, guys. 250 bucks for a 12 by 10 wall tent. I mean, if you guys are looking for a cheap bug out tent because you don't have a lot of money, this might be it for you guys. I mean, this is pretty cool. I'm going to be using this throughout the winter and I'll fill you in with other things that I find. But so far, guys, this gives me this gives two thumbs up. This is a pretty cool freaking tent. I love the airflow. I love the setup of it. It's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.